Look at this sucker. That is a tarantula. That thing's about half my size of my hand, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Wow. Things you find on the job. Cool. All right, man, this is the job today. That little shed's got to come down. I think that wiener wagon is going to be taken if they have the uh, title to it. This is what we've done so far. And that thing is loaded. So it should be a very good day. I'm all by myself today. Um, this guy was a rock collector. I don't know if you can see, excuse me, all the rocks. Uh, Arizona is kind of famous for the, the gems and the rock. They have big shows. All right, well, we are done with load number one. And uh, I gotta kind of situate that. That shed is coming down. It's about, I'm gonna say six by 10 and all the 10 feet tall. Well, eight feet tall. And that's gonna be Solzold. There's an added charge to that, of course. And all of this is going. Round number one, finish. I'm guessing that this is gonna be at least a ton. That's my guess. And I think it's $36 a ton here. So the only thing I don't like about this is the drive. It is a long drive to where we dump. And there's a lot of nails out here. I don't know what y'all do for nails. I put a um, Gimpler's, uh, it's kind of like a fix a flat. It immediately seals any holes. Um, and it costs about $200 to do uh, all four tires. It's about a half a gallon in each tire and it's uh, it works. I recently bought uh, a new set of tires for the trailer. They probably already got, I don't know, between all the all the tires, probably six, seven nails in them and screws, etc. And the Gimplers uh, will uh, basically go up to a half an inch, believe it or not, full on the uh, bottom of the tire. It will fill it. It's uh, got a Kevlar in it and it's pretty monstrous. So as you can see, this is no picnic of a ride. It just really beats the hell out of your truck. $50? Are you <laughs> It was 50 bucks, man. Hey, I don't know how Matt and JoJo do it, man. I can't even win when I'm by myself. Holy smokes, I was thinking 37 bucks, but man. All right, man, we are at round two. Um, fixing to empty that uh, shed out so we can demolish it. And then uh, he's deciding what stays and goes. And everything else has been taken. First load is done, of course. And uh, we are on the move. Well, as you can see, we're taking the sidings off, getting ready to solve all the heck out of this and take it down, get the rest of the insides out. But we are well on our way. Well, as you can tell, we got the skeleton out. We're gonna push this thing over, see if we can just make it collapse. That way we don't climb. Perfect. What did you just do? Huh? What did you do? It got out of the box when I put, well, I pulled it out of the box, the casting machine, and it ran over by the step to the laundry room behind a piece of wood and it got trapped. Like so a I dirty rat it. it was, right? <laughs> <laughs> he looks he looks alive. Nope, he's dead. He's dead, he's gone. It's a female. I have the coolest customers, man. Picking up dead rats and everything. Well, this is the second load and I believe all of this will, <clears throat> all of it will fit along with this thing. So I've got to kind of get everything to fit and it will, you watch. All right, man, easy go junk removal. Load number two is complete. We did not get it all in two. That's why I only estimate, leave myself room. It's gonna be a, a little less than a half a load left and uh, we'll finish it up tomorrow. We've got this down. We've got to cover and go. Well, first thing in the morning, I'm headed back to the, the job that just keeps on giving. Uh, that was that job in the desert, 110 yesterday. Absolutely just the worst 
friggin' I used to think I was Superman, now I think I'm Oop. <laughs> Ooperman. Oops. <laughs> that was a lot of, that was a lot of heat. 110 degrees. And uh, I brought lots of uh, fluids, but it really wasn't enough. And uh, <clears throat> that's, a, that's a tough job. So I've got just a platform and a few things to go. So it's kind of a minimal uh, type of job, but I just landed another one. So we're going to keep you uh, informed. There's a train. Well, that train is passing. I am cutting this board up. This was the foundation. And uh, we got one more cut, and then we got the blocks that are nailed to it. So this demolition's almost. You gotta be so careful. Oh, that's a Mojave. That's about as big as those get. What do you want to do? You want to kill it? Yeah, do the dogs don't have any snakes in its head. Yeah, they don't have any. So this was underneath our shed area. And uh, he's a big one. It's a Mojave rattlesnake. That's the second one I've run into. You get it? <laughs> oh, your finger's out. Yeah, That's out. cool. It comes out automatic. He's a done deal. Did you blow him in half, didn't you? I don't know what I did, but he's done. And the reason you did that was because of the dogs. Yeah. Everybody has dogs around here and these things are territorial. And uh, you can't have them, you can't have them roaming around, right? So I want to reiterate, it's not like uh, we just kill snakes for fun, but this is a, uh, a neighborhood. Everybody's got like an acre, everybody's got dogs. And uh, that's a Mojave, they're very dangerous. Uh, you can tell the Mojave by the stripes at the end of the Rattler. I don't know if you can see those. Um, and so that's why he shot it. And I would have too. Don't want him in my neighborhood. She's going to town, this is yeah. her. You're gonna have some food today. I am going to. I'm gonna eat this sucker. Mm, this... I'm gonna find out what they taste like. Have fun. Yeah, they they don't. <laughs> You'll see what I'm saying. And you're the first one that's told me that. Uh, come on. He doesn't want to lose his head, does he? Would you? <laughs> Man, you got your prize. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> Sandals and all. All right, man, this shed is completely gone. And so is the snake. <laughs> so that's a day. Well, that's where they put them. As you can see, that isn't a baby. He's got a, quite a few rattlers there, or rattles. All right, I don't know. I think she may be eating them. I wouldn't. I've eaten snake before and it's greasy, ugly, and nasty. So this job is now done. That is the third trailer. It's about a little less than half squaring up now. Building's gone. Wiener Wagon is staying. They decided to keep it. Um, I'm here if they want me to take it. Uh, it's got a, everything that it takes. It runs on propane. So, yeah. All right, man, we're on the second job today. It's a house clean out. People are moving out. All of this is going. There's tons of bags, washer dryer, three sets of mattresses. All of the load. I had the coolest call ever. Uh, call today said, uh, "Do you serve Tombstone?" And I so much wanted to say, "Well, I'll be your Huckleberry," <laughs> but uh, no, that's an hour and a half away, and we don't uh, we don't serve Tombstone. But that would have been cool, don't you think? All right, man, we are. Uh, finishing up this job. This is the second load, but it's only a washer and dryer, so it's a minimum. And the cool thing is, is I dump those off for free. So, and then I got a bed bug job I gotta go do, and I'm gonna charge this guy an arm and leg. Already told him that. I really don't wanna do it, but here we go. Man, that's some rain. 
it is some rain. I'm here to dump off a washer dryer and uh, then go do a dead, I mean, dead bug, <laughs> bed bug job, which I'm not really wanting to do, but I'm gonna charge them really good. And uh, the cool thing is, man, it's gonna be 11, 1200, nah, probably $1,200 a day. We like $1,200 days. Very nice, El Solo again. That's how simple it is. We drop and go and they load. They bring the loaders up here and grab them and throw them in the uh, dumpsters. Yes, they make the money, but I don't pay the money. So that's what we get. Those are monsoons. They come in and they just dump a lot of water. That's what that's fixing to do. All right, man, as, as this video goes, I'm still working solo. Joe is recovering. She's getting stronger every day. But we're trying to give her as much time off as possible because I don't want to work her and have a relapse or anything. So we're going to take care of the one that takes care <laughs> takes care of me. So as you can see, that monsoon is coming in and we're fixing to get dumped on, which is a good thing. All right, man, this is Gary with Easy Go Junk Removal. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.